E-Y-E-R-S, Myers Cocktail, which is a blend of nutrition that can be used to deal with cancer as well. Uh, so those are just some things I wanted to tell you before before you get into what you're doing now. So why don't you real quickly uh, tell me what you're up to, what, what you're doing right now to deal with the cancer. What supplements are you using? Well, I decided to uh, purchase um, Immortalium. I'm sorry, say again, ma'am? They're uh, Wallach. Linda, I'm having a really hard time understanding you. So I know, I know how, if you can just talk a little bit more clearly, because I want to understand everything you're saying. But I just okay. Uh, um, the Immortalium from Dr. Okay. Wallach. Yes. Okay, what else? Uh, cell, cell Shield. Okay. The Z Radical and okay. the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. Okay, good. With That's... an extra bottle of uh, selenium. Okay, good. You're on the right track. I don't know. The Immortalium isn't necessarily going to help you with cancer, um, but uh, the Selenium certainly will. And then also uh, also the Healthy Start Pack, that's going to give you the Brain and Body Pack. That's going to give you the basics. Those are called the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. They're the basics, and everybody needs them. And, Linda, I, I want you to listen to this. I want everybody else to listen to this. You don't take nutrients because you want to heal yourself from some disease. That's not the purpose of the Healthy Start Pack or any other nutrition. The purpose mm -hmm. of the Healthy Start Pack and nutrients is to get you healthy. Not to, not to kill your cancer or to heal your bones, but to get you healthy. The body will take care of all the diseases and of building things and of fighting things. The body does that on its own. What we need to do is give the body the raw materials it needs to do its work. So you don't want to focus on nutrients simply because you have cancer or because you have osteoporosis or because you have acne, but you want to focus on the nutrients to get healthy. It's like giving your car gasoline. You don't give your car gasoline because because you want to take a you want to take a trip somewhere. You give your car gasoline because you can't run a car without gasoline. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's not. You don't want right. to look at this as trying to fight a disease. You want to look at it as making your body healthy, so your body can do all the work it needs to do, including fighting cancer and fighting diseases. So I'm I'm very careful about recommending nutrients for specific diseases, as much as I'm uh, I recommend nutrients to get healthy, to get strong, to uh, enable us to leverage or exploit our God-given right to to be <laughs> fully functional human beings. That's the purpose right. of nutrition. Now that having been said, you already got cancer. You may want to take some extra measures in addition to the Healthy Star Pack, and that's why I was telling you about the IV nutrients, IV yeah, vitamin C. I was C just is wondering though, if you could take it with chemo. Yes, absolutely, 100%. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and then they put me on an aspirin of 325 mg's because they had to disconnect a artery and put that back together. Well, I don't know what the aspirin. The aspirin's a blood thinner. It's going to keep your blood from clotting, maybe, they're thinking. You know, after surgery, yeah. uh, the blood has a tendency to clot. The, it's like your body freaks out and your blood freaks out. And so after surgery, your blood will clot, and they'll put you on a blood thinner for that reason. And they're probably thinking the aspirin is a blood thinner. I, I'm guessing that's why yeah, they put you on the aspirin. Yeah, but she's thinking maybe six months. Well, yeah. stay on it. I thought it was kind of crazy. No, they'll keep you on aspirin for life as a blood thinner. They just, sometimes if people well, have a history. Well, that's a lot, though, 325. That's not, you know, there's worse. It's a lot better than warfarin, that's for sure, or Coumadin. Not that it's great, but uh, uh -huh. you want a natural blood thinner? Vitamin E is one of the best natural blood thinners right, there is. Right, that's what I asked. Yeah, she said come back in six months. Uh, Omega-3s are so. also good blood thinners. And you know what else? Here's right. the deal, Linda. We're talking nutrients, but let me tell you something. The best health, in addition to nutrients, the best health strategies are going to be deep breathing, making sure you're oxygenating, and relaxing. You know, you have two right. nervous systems. I'm, I said this so many times before, but you know what? I haven't said it in a while, so I'm just going to tell you again. You got two nervous systems, okay? You got one nervous system that runs stress and survival needs or is responsible for helping the body in stress and survival mm -hmm. situations. And then you got another nervous system that helps heal your body, that's responsible for relaxation, that's responsible for making your brain grow and your immune system strong and making tissue repair and fighting cancer for that matter. That's called your relaxation nervous system. For the scientists out there, we call it the sympathetic nervous system, that's stress, and the uh, parasympathetic nervous system, that's relaxation. Relaxation. If you're dealing with cancer, if you're dealing with any kind of immune system problem, you've got to access the relaxation nervous system because the stress nervous system shuts down the immune system. 
Do you hear that, Linda? This mm -hmm. is so important. Yes. The survival yeah, nervous system. I, Hang yeah, on, let me finish. Linda, let me finish. Up. Let me finish, please, yeah. okay? The survival <laughs> nervous system, the stress nervous system, will shut down immunity. It will keep you from being able to fight cancer. So get in a hot tub, take a bath, Get in a hot shower, sit and deep breathe, get massages. You know, we're, we're conditioned to believe that all these strategies are indulgent and lazy mm -hmm. and, and relaxing is some, somehow, uh, somehow, somehow something that we shouldn't be doing too much of because it's a sign of sloth and laziness. It's not. Hot tubs are how we relax. Baths are how we relax. And when we relax, we activate the parasympathetic mm -hmm. nervous system, which activates healing. That's why I'm always saying don't let anybody take you into fear. Ever. If somebody's on the radio or on TV or, or you're reading something and it, it, it sparks a fear response, that's going to shut down your, your uh, ability to heal and relax and grow and survive and, 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 mm -hmm. and deal with stress, really. So we need but to figure out. I fear about the chemo. Well, it's, it's understandable, you know. but it's not helping you. You know, so, so uh, uh, figure out how to access the relaxation response. And one of the major gifts of nutritional supplementation is it tells the body that its survival's not, uh, survival is not being threatened. So nutritional mm -hmm. supplements actually will activate the parasympathetic, the relaxation nervous system. Good eating will activate the relaxation nervous system. Sugar, on the other hand, processed food, Kentucky Fried Chicken, crappy fast food corporate swill, those will turn on the, sym the sympathetic nervous system. Those will those will suppress healing. Those will suppress the parasympathetic relaxation nervous system. Here's a little clue for you. If something makes you go, ah, that's the relaxation nervous system. If something makes you go, right. oh, that's the survival nervous system. So any, you know that, you know that sound you, that we all make when you step into a hot bath? That ah mm -hmm. sound. That is your clue, your indicator that you've now accessed the relaxation nervous system and healing can ensue and the healing mm -hmm. process can begin. So I, I you know, I, this is not, I'm not being airy fairy here. I'm being hardcore healing. We got to figure out how to activate the relaxation nervous system and nutritional supplementation is key. Go ahead real quick, Linda, because I'll, I'll let you finish uh, up the here. The cell shield and the Z radical, do you think those would be Z radical is awesome. The cell shield a little bit less awesome, in my opinion. The Z radical mm -hmm. is is unbelievable. Except fucoidin Z is a little bit better. In fact, for all cancer, all immune issues, all blood issues, all obesity or diabetic or blood sugar issues, fucoidin Z is almost like a miracle. And I'm not just telling you this just because I've seen it over and over again. It's in the literature. It's in the research. Google fucoidin. F-U-C-O-I-D-A-N, which is the active ingredient in the Z-radical mm -hmm. and cancer. And you'll just get hit after hit after hit, article after article after article. It's crazy, powerful stuff, the Fucoidin Z. And I don't so, know of any... Uh, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do you think I could skip the chemo then? If I, I could can't say? tell you that. You know what, Linda? I can't tell you that. I don't know enough okay. about your case. But I can tell you okay. the nutrients are going to help the chemo work better, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay. okay. Okay, God bless you. You know what? I'm going to send you... Uh, if you send me your email with your phone number, I'll call you and you and I can talk um, when we have, a, you know, we can spend a little bit more time. Okay? Thanks for your call, Linda. Okay. God bless. I hope everything works out for you. Sorry if we left you on hold, but I'm always telling you guys you got to call in earlier. Uh, and then we'll, it's much easier for me to get to calls when you call in earlier. Anyway, thanks for listening. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about zinc and we'll uh, talk about zinc depletion of the soils. And we'll also talk about zinc and prostaglandins. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.